Good morning. As a lot of you guys requested, um, I'll be filming an English vlog today. Welcome back! Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this necklace I got yesterday when I went shopping. It's this one. I got it from an other story. So I went to IFC mall yesterday and I went there specifically for necklaces. I was going to get a few different necklaces, but I ended up getting one. But I'm pretty happy with the one I got. Wish I could find a silver one, but there wasn't any pretty silver necklaces that I liked. So it looks like this. It was, uh, how much was it? It was 25,000 won, which is about $25. This is for my new lookbook. I don't usually wear necklaces, but um, I'm planning on filming a lookbook this week. And I thought I needed some accessories to style with the clothes. So it looks like this. Ooh, very pretty. I like it. Oh, this is bulgogi. I moved it to the refrigerator section last night from the fridge. This is what I'm having for lunch. But this is all I have right now. So I need to go get groceries, buy some mushrooms and some instant rice. And over here, it's really gross. But my sink is clogged, so I need to get something for that too. Usually I would walk to get groceries, but the level of fine dust these days is so high. I was outside only for a few hours yesterday and my eyes are itchy. My throat is in pain. Uh, really, it's very depressing to be in Korea right now. I am hungry. I always get this one, so I'll go with this one. Okay, it's what's in my bag time. And cabbage, mushrooms, different mushrooms, eggplant, some broccoli. And some spaghetti sauce and instant rice and this thing and this is a foldable grocery bag I'll show you move it looks like this you can fold it Ta 
Ta-da! Okay, so my lunch is ready. I'm gonna play something on Netflix while I'm eating. I am... Uh, I'll just watch Modern Family. A real hero who doesn't get the credit he deserves. You know, yeah, I get a lot of attention, you know, coaching this game. But this man right here quietly defends the rights of real people with real problems. So when I went to IFC mall yesterday, I went to Yongpung Bungo, this bookstore. I got, there was a jelly section, so I got a bunch of jellies. And here are some leftovers. The flavors are really random, like for example, this one, this one was called ginger something. Oh, this one is horrible. I just took a bite of this arm and I couldn't finish it, so I'm just gonna... Maybe leave it here. You're a very unpleasant tasting jelly. I'm just gonna put it back in. Um, this one was actually my favorite pick. This was my first pick, because I knew this was gonna be good. I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's banana something, because it looks like a banana. And if you take a bite, and there's chocolate inside. It's really good. Mmm. Mm. This one, as you can see, is a watermelon jelly. It's not as good as Sour Patch. Actually, after a while, this just kind of tastes like artificial cucumber, which doesn't sound that good. So, this is mint chocolate. Um, I only got one, so this is my first time trying this. I am pretty anxious. Mmm. 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 I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, guys. Okay, so I've been meaning to cleanse my brushes for a really long time now. I've been procrastinating for I don't know how long. So today, I'm going to cleanse all my brushes. So the first thing I'm going to do is to soak my brushes. I'm going to put my brushes here. And I'm gonna soak my blender as well. So let me come back after about 15 minutes and I'll start cleansing. So the reason why I wanted to cleanse my brushes is well, firstly because you need to cleanse your brushes every once in a while. I, I don't do it often enough. Secondly, because I really wanted to try this one. Um, it's Real Techniques brush cleansing palette. I heard it's really good for cleansing your brushes and I also have the brush cleansing gel that go with this. I really wanted to just feel my brushes against this rubber palette. It's gonna be fun. 
So I have this, but I also have the free trial samples. So I'm gonna use this one first. I didn't realize that I wasn't filming. I put some gel here and I was just about to start rubbing my brush like this. Mm, this is fun. So my plan was to start talking about a random topic, but this is very distracting. So what I wanted to talk about while cleansing my brushes was stress management. I consider myself a pretty stress-free person generally, um, and I think I tried really hard to make my life that way by changing jobs and... Uh, and moving to different places and meeting different people but just about a few days ago i was like super stressed out and i didn't know what to do with myself and i thought about the word stress management and i was like well what do you even mean by that word you know because if it was manageable you wouldn't be stressed out right the pressure to manage your stress can also be a huge stress, but you do need to manage your stress. And up until recently, I, I think I didn't know how to, but I think slowly but surely I'm getting better at it. I mean, there are several different ways to avoid getting stressed. You can simply avoid the situation. So. If a person stresses you out, you can avoid seeing that person. If it's if that's not possible, you can um, at least try not to talk to that person as much. Or you can sleep, because sleeping puts you in a better mood. If you understand English pretty well, then listening to guided meditation videos on YouTube can also help you. I just meditated after lunch. I tend to listen to those when I have trouble concentrating if you can concentrate you can meditate on your own but there are days where it's hard to concentrate if it's um anxiety that bothers you then you can listen to guided meditation about anxiety a lot of different things your i feel like my body condition also affects my stress greatly this is new for me because I used to not care about taking care of my body condition. You need to put in a lot of effort into taking care of your own condition. You need to make sure that you sleep well and you rest well and that you eat well. Another good way to reduce stress is to focus on something else. For me, I feel like physical work helps me shift my focus better so i'll start cleaning or i'll start um working out like really hard or i'll do the dishes or i'll cleanse my brushes i'm realizing more and more that it takes a lot of energy to manage your stress a lot of effort I don't think I acknowledged that before because I used to think in order to avoid stress you need to not care but it's not just about not caring you know it's 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 about putting a lot of effort to shift your energy shift your focus and to build positive energies
I feel so good that I finally cleansed all my brushes. Yay! Clean brushes! Hey! I took a break after cleansing my brushes because my back was hurting too much. I think I might go run on a treadmill uh, later after I'm done with my coffee. So I signed up for my apartment gym down in the basement. It was only like $5 a month, so I signed up. I think I might go running. Also part of stress reduction process because I feel like if I work out, I kind of lose my mind off the things that are worrying me in my life at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video that I have been filming all day today or I can write a I can write a script for tomorrow's video, which I'm going to film. I'm going to film a lookbook video tomorrow. I feel like I have to mentally prep myself when I'm about to film a lookbook video just because I have to get changed so many times. It's very exhausting. And I'm thinking about um, filming my lookbook in this room for the first time. And if you look over here, I have all my boxes from my old house exactly the way they came in in the corner of this room just oh, oh my god i'm so hot so i think and i'm i'm going i'm thinking about using this wall as my background so I, i'm going to have to clean the boxes i have two lookbook videos that i want to film by the end of this month one is like a spring lookbook video and the second one is a vintage haul video which I've accumulated over the last three months or so. I have a couple to show you, so I want to do that. <laughs> Young Kung this bookstore. And there's chocolate inside. So I thought I would go run for a few minutes, um, maybe just for like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm not that hungry right now, considering I just worked out for like 30 minutes. But I do feel like it's quite late and I don't want to eat my dinner at like 1 in the morning. So I'm just going to have some fried vegetables right now. Mushrooms, one hot pepper, eggplant, broccoli, this, and uh, some cabbage. I'm going to fry them with some butter and add oyster sauce that's like my go-to meal these days it's like my favorite okay so this is my dinner I am so ready for this. A lot of you say that I eat really healthy and I and I really do try to. But I think more than that, I actually really, really like vegetables. And you need to know the ones you like and the ones you don't like as much. And consume the ones that you like as much as you can. For example, I don't like onions. 
Broccoli is okay for me. There are times where I don't want to eat broccoli. I can eat mushrooms every day and cabbage. Mmm.